A motherly instinct is one of the most powerful instincts in all living beings. We've all heard the stories of moms lifting cars off their children, running faster than thought humanly possible. But what about the moms in the animal kingdom? From overprotective goats to piggybacking monkeys, let's take a look at the 15 most caring and devoted animal moms in the world. Number 15. Mountain Goats Speaking of protective moms, the mountain goat mamas, or nannies, are known to be quite protective of their kids. Get it? I had to make that joke at least once. Anyways, the nannies can be so aggressive during the mating season that the male goats must crawl slowly towards their territory, making baby goat sounds. After the deed has been done, the nannies then chase all other goats from their territories and readily attack hesitating males left lingering. This aggressive instinct after mating serves to secure a snuggly cliffside for her incoming babies. Once the spring comes roughly 180 days later, the mother goats will give birth to a single baby, wherein the kid joins a nursery group within a week after birth. In accordance with the nanny's rough and tough attitudes, the male goats evolved to have much thicker skin, sort of like an armor, to protect themselves from the sharp horn attacks they receive when trying to mate or gain territory. What can we take away from this? Well, that the nannies are much more prone to attack you than a male. So if you're ever hiking in the mountains in winter, be sure to be cautious of these wily nannies and kids hopping around. Okay, I'm done with the kid jokes. Number 14. Elephants You think nine months is a long time to carry a baby around? Try being pregnant for two years. That's how long an elephant mother carries her unborn child. After they give birth, Elephant mothers are renowned for their tenderness and child-rearing in the animal kingdom. They only give their kids the best. Case in point, when the baby elephants are teething, the mother's milk adapts into a kind of painkiller for her child. If that's not a perfect example of motherly instinct, I don't know what is. The kids can even recognize that mother knows best, as herds of elephants are actually matriarchal. The oldest female elephant plays a key role in controlling the socialization of the group. and ensures the survival of the family. The mothers keep their babies around for life, building a strong connection when the herd stays together undisturbed. That being said, when mothers are lost to poaching, the baby elephants have a very difficult time fending for themselves against not only nature, but humans too. If you'd like more information on how to help these lovely and loving animals, visit the link in the bio. Number 13. Koalas while the elephant carries her baby for almost two years, the koala has it pretty easy, with a total pregnancy length of a whopping 35 days. Females generally start breeding at about three or four years of age, usually producing one offspring each year. Not all females in a wild population will breed each year. Some produce offspring only every two or three years, depending on factors such as age and habitat quality. In the average female's 12-year lifespan, she may produce five or six offspring over her lifetime. As the baby koala, also known as a joey, makes its way out of the birth canal, it makes its way to the mother's pouch, using the already well-developed forelimbs and senses of smell and touch. The newborn is tiny, weighing in at a gram in weight, and looks like a pink, totally hairless, and adorable jelly bean. Once the little jelly bean finds its way into the mother's pouch, it attaches itself to its mother's teat, which then swells in the joey's mouth. This swelling stops the joey from falling off and away from the mother's source of food. Just a year after they're born, the joey wanders from its mother's home off to start a life of its own. Number 12. Alligators and Crocodiles On the whole, I'm going to go ahead and say that reptiles aren't known for their motherly instinct. But in the case of alligators, they are instinctive and attentive mothers. A mother alligator will build a nest using mud, sticks, and plants in a large hole, also known as an alligator hole. After laying between 10 to 15 eggs, the mother will cover them up using more decomposing plants to control the temperature of the nest. This offers the mother gator the control over which gender the hatchlings will have. When the temperature is between 86 and 93 degrees Celsius, 
there will be a solid mix of both. The mother can sense this middle ground and will add or subtract nesting to help produce equal amounts of both sexes. After laying the eggs, the mother gator stands by her nest to protect it from raccoons and other animals that want to steal and eat her eggs. As the eggs get closer to hatching, the babies inside will begin to vocalize, signaling the mother to then take the eggs in her mouth and wade into the water so they may hatch submerged. Babies stay with their mothers for up to two years after hatching, and when trouble finds them, or they find some trouble, all they have to do is call out and the mama gator will come racing over to fend off whatever problem they may have. Number 11. Polar Bears Kings of the Arctic? More like queens of the Arctic. Polar bear mamas have it going on much more than the males do. When considering what they sacrificed to endure the harsh conditions and how they've been preparing for the future generations of polar bears, it's easy to claim them as Arctic royalty. Even though polar bears mate during the spring season, the mother bears won't become completely pregnant until the autumn. This is because of something called delayed implantation. This means that the initial fertilized egg stops growing for the next four months. The delay is caused by the lack of sea ice to hunt on top of, so mother bears must wait until after the freezing period to go search for food. A pregnant polar bear must gain at least 441 pounds to build up the fat reserves for cubs. Otherwise, the egg does not full form. Because of this scarcity of food, the mother will actually forego eating and drinking so she can give what food there is to her babies. After months and months of sitting in a den and bringing her children food, the mother will walk with her cubs to the now icy sea and begin to teach them to fish for themselves. I'm sure she must be very, very relieved at that point. Number 10. Cheetahs Probably the singlest of all mothers on this list, the cheetah raises her cubs all on her lonesome after meeting the father, only to mate. Other than that, males and females don't really intermix, kind of like being of the one-night standers of the animal kingdom. After mating, the male cheetah dips out, never to be seen again. Besides this, the mother cheetah does relatively fine on her own, raising anywhere between two to eight cubs. Though blind and weak at birth, the baby cheetahs develop quite rapidly. Even with this rapid development, it is quite rare for a cheetah to make it to five months, what with all the lions and hyenas after them. If they are able to make it to five months, they will already be capable of outrunning most predators. Except another cheetah, of course. Once they are able to pass this threshold, the cubs stay under the watchful eye of their mother for another year. The only time the mother leaves her cubs is, of course, in search for food. Though it comes every now and again, the mother cheetah can be gone for up to 48 hours at a time. The mother will even wait until night falls to return to her cubs, so that it's not easy to follow her home. Where's the papa when you need him? Sheesh. Number 9. Gorillas well, here comes a good papa, but in the form of a silverback gorilla. Even though the mother gorilla is extremely protective of her children, she still has the father and leader of the pack around to protect her and the children. The mothers can be protective of their babies too, so much so they won't even let any other gorillas in the herd touch them. After eight and a half months of pregnancy, the mother gorilla will give birth to one baby. And like human mothers, they are very attentive caregivers. They carry them around, feed them, clean them, the whole shebang. They are so attentive, in fact, that they don't even put the baby down for the first six months. Even with all this attentiveness, nature is a cruel mistress. Only about 75% of the children survive infancy. Because raising the baby can be so energy consuming, gorillas don't have another one for another four years. After this period of time, and the mother gorilla has had her next child, the firstborn must learn how to take care of themselves. Number 8. Octopuses most mothers in the world would give their lives so that their children have a chance at life. For octopuses, it is unfortunately a natural part of the birthing and rearing cycle. The octopus first floats around for five to six months carrying her eggs inside her. Once the water hits its seasonal temperature, the octopus retreats to her den, then proceeds to lay somewhere around 56,000 eggs. You heard me correctly, 56,000. 
The process of laying these 56,000 eggs can span over a month period, sometimes longer. Each egg is pushed out one by one, and after all is said and done, she makes a sort of a baby necklace by collecting all of the eggs and stringing them together around her well-hidden den. Another five to six months is spent protecting her children from crabs and other sorts of predatory fish, not leaving their side even once, not even to eat. Because she hasn't eaten in so long, she has made her final step towards death. Using her last bit of energy as the eggs start to hatch, she guides the strung-together eggs toward the surface. The babies will hatch, full ready to take care of themselves. The mother will float back into the depths, having done her motherly duty, so tragic yet so beautiful. Number 7. Red Knobbed Hornbill a stay-at-home mom is nothing to smirk at for those who do. It can be as much of a full-time job as any other. The red-knobbed hornbill takes this to heart and makes it her sole job to raise and tend to her babies every second of the day. While mother is at home, the father forages for berries and other foods to feed the rest of the family. Located on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, Our feathered friend makes use of hold-out trees to build their nests. To protect their nests from the lizards roaming around, the red-knobbed hornbill will use their own feces to seal the hole and to deter predators with the smell. The dedication of our stay-at-home mom sort of reaches helicopter mom status with this next fact. Because the baby bird can't leave the inside of the hold-out tree nest, the mom must scoop out the poop with her mouth. And that's a wow for me, dog. Seems like these birds have a strange fixation with their feces. Number 6. Dolphins It's easy to be surprised by how many similarities there are between dolphins and humans. They're intelligent animals, share emotional states with humans, and in the case of our list, in how they raise their babies. When a baby dolphin is born, also known as a calf, they do not have the instincts just yet to really fend for themselves. All their knowledge must be learned from their mothers, so the mother dolphin has been observed to be a very, very patient teacher. They show their calves how to hunt, swim, and even play. The mother becomes a teacher right from the get-go. Their first lesson? How to breathe. The patience and determination really kicks in while the mother teaches the baby how to swim. For the first two months, the mother will barely get a wink of sleep to keep an eye out for predators. To learn how to swim, the calf will attempt to swim in synchronicity with their mothers. Sound familiar, human moms? A dolphin's maternal instinct can be so strong that they have been known to adopt other orphaned babies, sometimes from an entirely different subspecies. Number 5. Giraffes Giving birth is an enormously scary event no matter who you may be. But imagine having your baby fall six feet just after. Yep, giraffes have that extra fear tacked on. No need to worry, though. The baby calf has an already well-developed spine, and after more than a year in the womb, we should all hope so. In fact, baby giraffes have the same number of vertebra as humans. 33. Within minutes of being born, the calves are up and walking around, standing at 6.6 .6 feet tall, not yet tall enough to reach the branches. The mother will pick leaves and twigs for her calf. The calf usually sticks with their mothers for about four years before heading off on their own. Mother giraffes will sometimes even make little playdates for their calves with other children. While the kids play, the other mothers will roam and eat. But when the baby calf sees that mom is gone, they will miss them. So they head over to the last spot they saw them and wait for mama to come back. Number 4. Wolf Spiders one of the more spine-tingling mothers on this list, wolf spiders are quite excellent mothers too. The wolf spider spins her egg sacs in a similar way to most other spiders. She creates little silk bowls and fills one half with her fertilized eggs. She then takes the other half of the bowl and covers the eggs with it, creating a little silk ball. Most spiders build webs. and will lay a sack of eggs in the tangle to let the eggs hatch there. This is not the case for wolf spider mothers, who are free-roaming spiders. In order to keep their babies with them as they roam, wolf spiders take the silk sack filled with all the eggs and attach it to their undersides. Did I say spine-tingling earlier? What I should have said was spine-clinging. 
Why? Well, because after the eggs hatch, the baby spiders will cling onto the mother spider's back for a few more days. This offers the mother a great way to protect her babies just a little while longer, and also allows her to spread her young around the landscape. Number 3. Kangaroos Climbing onto mama's back for a ride? I guess it's pretty cool. Well, how about having a freaking pouch to hang out in? The mother kangaroo has a front pouch to keep her joey nice and close for up to a year for males and 18 months for females. The babies spend the first few months without leaving the pouch, so it's good the pouch is a very versatile way of keeping her baby comfy, sporting as many features as a fully loaded minivan. First off, the mother's teat is inside the pouch, which allows her to feed the baby. The pouch is also not as loose and floppy as you would think. The outer band of the pouch actually has a muscle behind it, which the mother can flex and loosen. The milk that the mother kangaroo feeds her children adapts to the nutritional needs of whichever joey is feeding. It goes even further. When a mother has more than one child, each teat will produce a specific milk composition for each joey. It's essentially a catering service for her children. Kangaroos are, without a doubt, the chillest moms around. Number 2. Whales Polygamy is seen as a somewhat strange mating structure to humans, yet in the instincts of whales, it comes as a natural part of the process. Female whales will have multiple partners over the course of her life, with the average being around seven. Much like elephants, whales have a complex matriarchal system in their pods. The system is so complex, it has even been compared to humans as well. The ladies take the lead because they have a more substantial lifespan than their male counterparts. These pods consist of a couple other families, with each mother capable of watching after all the other young in their pod, kind of like babysitters. While adult whales make loud cries to communicate with one another, baby whales will whisper to their mothers when in need. This is to keep from alerting any nearby prey that a baby is in the midst, and to let their moms know they're hungry, which is quite often. A baby whale can drink over 600 liters of milk each day. Baby whales stay close to their mother for about three years after birth, even when they're fully capable of feeding themselves. Number 1. Orangutans Claiming the strongest bond between child and mother, not only on our list but in the animal kingdom, is the orangutan. The orangutan mother will stay with her child for six to eight years, teaching them all the best survival techniques, where to find food, how to eat it, and above all, how to avoid predators. The bond is so strong that female orangutans have been known to visit their mothers for up to 15 or 16 years after their separation. This is a true testament to the bond that orangutans build with their young. After the birth of her baby, many factors such as stress, disease, and general mothering techniques can have a deep effect on the neurological development of a youngling. Because orangutans raise their children as single mothers, with no outside help from extended family, they pay unbelievably close attention to their babies. The child won't even leave the mom's back for the first year of their lives. Scientists believe orangutans live so long in the childhood stage because of just how much there is to learn from their mothers. Congratulations, orangutans! You've officially made me miss my own mom. Hi, mom! As we've seen in this list, mothers can be many different things, but all of them are always what is best for their children. Did one of these animals make you think of your mom? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen now. See you next time!